Here we have part two of the S14 rebuild. But at the moment, as you can see, there's no engine in it. So we need to put our 550 horsepower SR20 in the car. And fingers crossed, we don't uncover any big problems because of the conversion before. But Wayne's gonna fix those problems as and when we get to them. Is it right? I think that's right. Hey, Rocky. You helping today? Yeah. More help than you, I man. More help than me, anyways. All right, you're putting the gearbox in to go in one. Wayne, you are some man. Doesn't even want my help. Go on, give it a wiggle, give it a wiggle. You know what? I just sit on this. There you go. That is, I am a great help, you hear that? Yeah, only for you, Josh. You're a disaster, you are. I'm not a disaster, I'm helping. Could you just go down the back and get me two sky hooks there, please? What's a sky hook? Down the back shelf. I have a feeling this is like an apprentice joke, isn't it, Wayne? There's no such thing as a sky hook. That's what I'm working with, people. A great person he's working with. Very helpful. What did you do? Oh, f me. Did you have a bolt in there? That's why it wouldn't go on. No, I didn't. You did, didn't you? No, I put it on there a second ago. Admit it. No. He did. He, he completely did. That, that's the reason it wouldn't go on. Caught you red handed there. That was you. <laughs> look, at, look at that. He's been caught dirty. It's gonna slip, if it slots straight on now. Oh! <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah, it had the bolt at the bottom, didn't it? No, it was actually not that, it's just. Oh, sorry, I'm the stupid one in this situation. Wayne, just a warning now, if you damage any of the candy stuff. That's for you're gonna be here to help me, Josh. That's only so you can blame it onto me. Yeah, you're gonna get a little tripod there for your camera and then we'll set it up there. I don't have a tripod, I just put it on a bin or a car or something yeah. like that. So you may be thinking that it would be easier just to put the engine in by itself and the gearbox in afterwards. But because this is an R154 gearbox and the car still has a standard tunnel, it actually makes it pretty tricky to get the gearbox in separately. So whilst we had the opportunity, we decided to throw them in at the same time, making it a much easier job in the long run. So engine is in Wayne. So is box. And boxes in. Although we don't really have a gearbox mount because the, well, let's just say the one that came out the car is, well, far from standard. This is a bit of an ingenious that we would do. There's an engine mount there. That's, no, that's not staying there, no, Josh. Well, no, but this is just so that we can hold it in so we can connect up the prop and everything like that. Just so we can keep the things going. Should it get in there, Wayne? Like, like. Stick it in. He has trouble getting it in. When you need to take these out. Yeah, no, no. Just so you know. Boards for here. I don't think yeah. these are great boards. Sorry, I'll give you a hand here. It wouldn't be like you to forget the nuts, would you? When taking on someone else's project car, and especially one that's been modified so much in the past, it can be quite tricky because you don't really know what's been done. And also all the wiring have been chopped and reconnected. This can make it quite tricky putting all the standard stuff back in because we don't really know what's been modified. So the more that we did, the more we realized how many parts we needed and also how many bits needed to be modified. That is the worst sound in the world. Dave, you came in at a good time. Every, everything just goes in. This was an easy job, right? Just remember when you said, I mean, it's made for an S14. Why has he got an air tool then, if that's the case? You tell us! Please. Talk to me. The pipes don't fit. No, it feels like that's a small problem for you. You're very talented. So this car would have had an intercooler at some point. Yeah, it would have been all that thing. I'll say this car has a lot of history. There's, there's holes for an intercooler piping, but they're the standard holes for the intercooler piping, but none of them are... Uh, well, it's had an SR20 at one point, then it had an SR20 with an intercooler, then it had a 1UZ V8, and now it has another SR20 with custom piping. So yes, it has had quite the story. She has some secrets. But you know what? It looks good in there, doesn't it, Wayne? With yeah, the black. That's, that's what I told you, Josh. See, we did nothing. We just lifted the engine in, and Dave thinks we done loads of work. It looks, like, it, 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 it looks like a lot of work's he's, gone on, doesn't he's it? He's too honest. That's the right... He could, like, what Wayne would normally do to a general customer, Sam, this took three weeks. Sorry, yeah. not Wayne, mechanics in general. 
So as you saw, we had to finesse the holes a little bit. And we didn't get any to call of this car, so we um, stole it from that car. That's, it's obviously not in use, not going to be used anytime soon, just to try and get it all lined up. Is that kind of in? Not too bad at all, when you make up your fancy brackets. Eh? Since when has the videographer been the person to make up the fancy brackets? Well, Ryan taught you everything, didn't he? Ryan Morton did teach me everything I know, and I will make some brackets. Whether they're good or not, will be undecided, but I will make them. So lots of progression made on the car. Engine is in and secure. And a list, minus my absolutely horrific spelling, made to be able to get this car to the next step. Good morning, people on the internet. I'm so sorry for interrupting this uh, lovely video, but I just want to say that we are coming to Ireland again for uh, Spring Bash. It's going to be 11th to 12th of March. Drift Games boys got us a car. So who are you going to I don't know if it's going to survive, but... See you in Ireland. Have you heard of a budget? Have you heard of a smash in the budget? Because we, we smashed this budget. Just to run you through, obviously it had fine coilovers in there, but we then decided to change that to a full airlift suspension kit. Because it's better. So the idea of this car is going to be kind of somewhat a show car. So when a car slammed onto laying, what's it called? Laying frame? Laying, literally laying frame. But of course you need massive big brakes to lay frame. This is, this is necessary because again, the engine that came out of this car, the standard engine was 200 horsepower and now a 550 horsepower engine is going into it. So you do need big brakes. Which we have, we have some nice Brembo's. With the, these are bigger and better because they say Brembo on. Along with a few gearbox mounts, radiator mounts, radiator mounts, yeah. exhaust rubbers, and somewhat of a boot interior. Wayne, we start where we finished up. <laughs> where did we finish up? <laughs> to rephrase that, we're continuing where we finished. We have a whole mess here. So Wayne, I'm not sure what you did, but you dismantled the fuse box. Now plan was originally we were going to try and relocate it, but then we got told an S14 is much harder than an S13. So we're now just putting it back in the engine bay and get a fancy cover so it will look a little fancier and not as much of an eyesore as it was before. We may need to tidy this later on today because it looks ugly and dirty and there's wires coming everywhere. Like, what does this one do? Why is it being hacked into and there's loads of connections going everywhere? So you're putting the loom on top of the arch, aren't you? It was done already before. See, it was cut out here and notched out. Get the notches out, bring the wires up across here and up along there where the wheel's not going to hit it. And it's not a sharp edge for people says it is a sharp edge. But we filed it all down. Because health and safety is important in the workplace, isn't it, Wayne? <laughs> Definitely around here anyway. So next up, we need to figure out a way to get the intercooler to be mounted there. Because this isn't standard for this car, and all the piping is all custom, this is where the intercooler is mounted up. My plan is to make up some brackets out of aluminium or aluminium for the American guys. Awkwardly, there was a time when I thought those things were different materials. I now know they're the same. So as you can see here, I just took some cardboard to make the template out of. Reason being, it's much easier to bend this into position and trace around the rough shape that you need.
all traced out, ready to grind them out. Probably shouldn't have used such a thick aluminium as it was a bugger to cut through. But that's all we had, so that's what we used. The good thing is it'd be strong. Obviously, it looks like absolute crap now. But we'll smooth out all the edges and everything like that, bend it up, drill the holes, and it should be pretty good. Hopefully, if my calculations are correct, for the power of maybe completely fluking it, I'm gonna do this on camera for the first time to see if they fit. Put a pencil washer on for no reason whatsoever. And there we go. Tighten that up and that should be one hint cooler securely fitted. I'm not gonna lie guys, and I'm not proud of my work very often, but that is fairly on. I was gonna make some brackets for underneath, but I genuinely think that, so I think that is intercooler on. And then at the same time, I also made out some little brackets for the radiator, just so that is also secure. So that is now the fuse box in the radiator supported and the intercooler supported. And the only thing left is now for Wayne to do the brakes. I believe, even though they do say S14 on them, I'm pretty sure these are 350Z brakes. And as far as I'm aware, don't take me fact for fact on this and buy some 350 brakes and it turns out they're wrong, but I'm 98% certain of this. Someone's just put some washers in there. We can get something made up that's a bit cleaner than that probably. And because the bolt there is bigger than that, you just drill that out and they pretty much fit straight on. Well, that's right on that. Well, I guess we'll find out when we drill these out and see if they fit or not. So what seemed like an easy job to start with actually proved to be a bit more difficult. As you can see here, Wayne trying to drill out the holes, but the material was so thick, he just burnt out the drill bit and he couldn't get through. So he went and got a better drill bit and used the bench drill. I just placed the disc down on the floor just so you can see the size comparison of the two. And as you can see, the new ones that we're putting on are much bigger. And as you may know, bigger is always better. Well, when it comes to brakes, it is. And just like that, we have what we think are 350 brakes on the front of the car. Let us know in the comments below if they are indeed 350 brakes. Like I said, I'm fairly confident they are, but I'm not 100% sure. So it'd be good to let other people know because this could be a fairly good and cheap upgrade for an S-Body. So we're just about done for this stage of the progress. There's a few little bits like power steering lines and everything like that, and the rest of the fuel rail that needs to go into the car. But we'll do them off camera because they're not really that interesting. But as far as it goes here, the next stage that you're gonna see this is gonna be in a different location, getting the next bunch of work getting done to get the car dynoed. We've been reading lots of you guys' comments and the majority of the people are saying it's hard to keep up with the progress of the builds because the episodes are so far apart. And to be fair, we completely agree. We're a bit blindsided to it, but you guys have brought it to our attention and we're gonna try and be better. And this is the first build that we're gonna try and keep you guys up to date so you can follow it along its journey. So thank you very much for joining us on this episode. Like I said, in the next episode, it's gonna be going to its new location for the new bunch of works. So that's gonna be very exciting. So make sure to keep on checking back and looking on our social feeds for when that's gonna be but until then we'll catch you guys on the next one